The Rajya Sabha was adjourned at 10 a.m. minutes after question hour began as Congress MPs raised slogans demanding a debate over the rise in fuel prices in the past many weeks. Leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha, Malikarjun Kharge, raised his party's concerns over the issue. He demanded the suspension of the House proceedings to debate this under Rule 257. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu said he did not want to take any drastic action on the very first day referring to the protesting Congress MPs. Shares of Indian non-banking financial firm Muthoot Finance Limited fell the most in nearly two months on Monday after Group Chairman M.G. George Muthoot died over the weekend. Media reports said he fell from his fourth-floor house in New Delhi. The financier is credited with growing the company into a pan-India name and scaling its presence beyond Kerala, where it is headquartered. The Forensic Department of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences has constituted a board to probe the cause of death, Business Today said in a report on Sunday. Thousands of women farmers, students and activists are gathering at Tikri border near Delhi, where a protest has been going on against the centre's three farm laws. These women will take part in the protest on International Women's Day today. The Samyukta Kisan Morcha said it expects 15,000 women protesters at Tikri and 4,000 at Singhu today. Several women members of parliament on Monday spoke in Rajya Sabha on the occasion of International Women's Day. During the discussion, MPs highlighted the issue of lack of women's representation in leadership roles as they pushed for 33% reservation for women in parliament. Meanwhile, the Bharatiya Janata Party's Sonal Man Singh demanded the celebration of International Men's Day if we are celebrating Women's Day. I demand that International Men's Day should also be celebrated, she said. Meghan Markle opened up about battling suicidal thoughts. Prince Harry disclosed a painful rift with his father in their tell-all history-making interview with Oprah Winfrey. The pair lifted the veil on their dramatic exit from royal life. Nasty allegations of racism in royal ranks and a campaign of lies targeting Meghan were exposed, including official concern about the skin colour of their unborn child.